I'm Noah from American Trucks, and today we're taking a look at the Freedom Off-Road 1 to 4 inch adjustable front coilovers that fit the 07 to 18 Silverado 1500. Now these front coilovers are tailored towards that Silverado owner who's looking to lift or level their truck's front ride height and gain some on and off-road suspension performance. These are just front coilovers and these guys are fully adjustable, which means you can adjust them to the ride height you might have your truck's rear set to, or you can just raise the front if you're trying to clear some big wheels and tires without them rubbing. Now the coilovers can raise the front end of your Silverado from a minimum of four inches to a maximum of one inch. And as far as tire size and ride height goes with your Silverado, with this kit at max height, you should definitely be able to clear a set of 33 inch tires, no problem. So you can really dial your truck in and get it sitting exactly how you want to with full control. Now this also opens the door for flexibility with running different tire sizes as well, which I think is a huge bonus. Now sometimes you have a static lift setup and it fits great with 33s, and that's where front coilovers that are adjustable come into play and really shine. Now adjustable front suspension is really the end all be all way to buy once and have lots of freedom to continue building and customizing. Now these are gonna ride and perform a lot better than a leveling kit that just plops on the top of the factory suspension as well, since they're designed to ride and perform higher than the factory suspension. Now looking at the construction of these coilovers, these are one of the farthest adjusting front coilovers I've personally ever seen, and four inches of adjustability is very impressive in my opinion. Now these guys from Freedom Off-Road have a higher than stock pressured nitrogen charge inside of them so that you get some better ride performance as well as much less body roll. Now Freedom Off-Road designs these coilovers so that you not only get good performance but long lasting performance as well, these guys actually come with a one year wear and tear warranty. They seem to be playing a dangerous game and that wear and tear warranty basically tells me that you're good to go out and jump your truck. Maybe don't do that, but knowing that you're covered in the wear and tear respect is a huge plus in my opinion when you're shopping for front suspension. Now let's talk pricing. These are going to set you back around 600 bucks for the pair. Not bad when you consider that these are drop in fully adjustable and not a set of springs or a leveling kit. Now, in my opinion, if you're looking to lift your Silverado, a set of front coilovers like these guys are the way to go. Moving on to the installation of these front coilovers, they're gonna fall at a two out of three on the difficulty meter and it's safe to expect spending about two hours to get these guys bolted up at home. Without further ado, let's show you how to get them installed over in the install bay. Tools required for this install include a couple different size air guns, a hammer, 15 and 17 millimeter wrenches, 14 and 18 millimeter ratcheting wrenches, 10, 15 and 17 millimeter swivel sockets, 21 millimeter deep socket, a pry bar, a ball joint remover tool, a 730 seconds Allen wrench with a little bit cut off, and a hook. What's up guys? Today we're installing a set of front coilovers on our Silverado, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a 10 millimeter socket to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts holding our ABS line brackets into place. And we can pop that bracket out of place. We're gonna throw our bolt back in so we don't lose it. We'll do the same thing on the front. Next, we can remove our sway bar end link. Now you're gonna to wanna to do this one after another on each side. That way we have it completely freed up. We can pull our sway bar up to get our end link out. So I've got a 15 millimeter socket and wrench to take this off. Next, we can come to our tie rod end. We're gonna take a 21 millimeter socket to remove this nut and pop our ball joint out of the knuckle. Now you can push up a little bit on your impact gun to pop it out. And then we'll push that off to the side. Next, we can come to our upper control arm ball joint. We have an 18 millimeter nut that we can take an 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench to remove.
Now we're gonna leave that nut a couple threads on and then we can bang the knuckle with a hammer to break our ball joint free. So now I'm just gonna turn the knuckle to the side to get a better angle. And we'll take a hammer and smack the knuckle here to pop that free. Now, since our foolproof method of hitting it with a hammer didn't work, we're on to the next best thing, which is our ball joint uh, remover tool. We have the top here sitting on the top of the knuckle, the bottom is on the stud, and it'll tighten and pop that free. So I've got a 19 millimeter wrench to tighten down this bolt. That'll put the pressure on it and pop our ball joint out. So now with our ball joint pop free, we can pull down on the upper control arm and remove that nut the rest of the way. Next, we can come to the top of our strut tower and loosen up these three 18 millimeter nuts. So I've got an 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench to get these off. Now with the nuts at the top of our strut tower loosened, we can come down to the bottom and remove our two lower strut bolts. We've got a 17 millimeter socket for our bolt side and a 17 millimeter wrench for the nut side. Now for the second one, just be careful of the lower control arm coming down a little bit. Now with our lower strut bolts removed, we can go back up top and fully remove our nuts and pull our strut out. So we'll get back in there with that same 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench to do so. So now with our factory strut removed, we're ready to install our new one. So we'll slide this up into place, get our nuts on up top, just hand tight, and then we can get the bolts through the bottom. Now we have a washer and a nut that we can get onto our studs. Next, we can come to our lower control arm and thread in our two bolts. Now, there is a flat side of this threaded portion that you want facing down towards the lower control arm. And then we'll grab our 17 millimeter socket to tighten these down. And now we can go back up top and take a 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench to tighten down our three nuts. Next, we can reconnect our upper control arm ball joint to the knuckle. Now, one thing to be mindful of is this ABS wire has to stay in front of our ball joint.
Next we can grab an 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench to tighten down our nut. Now if the stud does spin, you can grab a 730 seconds Allen wrench. I cut a little bit off the end here because as the stud gets pulled down, it'll get trapped between the stud and the axle. Next, we can come to our tie rod end and get that back into the knuckle. And then we'll grab our nut and thread that on the other side. And then tighten that down with a 21 millimeter socket. Now at this point, you wanna play catch up on the other side and we're gonna install our sway bar end links together and tighten those down together. So we'll get that side situated and then come back and do our end links. So now we can slide our end link into place, and slide our bolt up and through, pull down on our sway bar a little bit, we'll get our bushing in, and then our nut. Now at this point, get your end link in on the other side, and then we can take our 15 millimeter socket and wrench and tighten this down. And then you can tighten your end link on the other side as well. Now lastly, we can reconnect these two brackets for our ABS and brake lines. And then we'll tighten those down with our 10 millimeter socket. And now we can do that same thing on the other side. Now our new coilovers are adjustable, so we can take our spanner wrench included in the kit to do that. We have a bottom ring that we're gonna have to loosen up, and then we can raise our top ring or lower, however you'd like. So now to raise it up, we're gonna twist left on our lower collar to break that loose. And then we can turn to the right on our upper one. And then when we get it to the height we want, we can just twist our lower collar back up and then twist that to the right to lock that down. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Freedom Off-Road one to four inch adjustable front coilovers for your 2007 to 18 Silverado 1500. Thank you for watching and for all things Silverado, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.